welcome 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 to the year 2022 whoop whoop i am so super excited yes it will be our year of exceeding greatness but before you run off to do that your resolution you know how the saying goes new year new resolution and i know you're probably getting ready to write one or you already wrote one so i want to ask you hey how about the old one were you able to tick off some things were you able to check them all off because if you weren't, maybe uh, you want to consider some other stuff now. Um, I know that we always talk about losing weight or uh, stopping to eat chocolates. You know how hard these things can be. My advice for you this year is that you find a sweet, sweet spot between effort and patience okay and once you can find that right balance it will be easy super easy for you to pinpoint the areas for growth uh summon the courage to change some of your habits and most importantly to do it with sweet kindness and compassion because what new year resolutions do is that they kind of like take you off and all that and they're just so hard on you but before you do that your resolution I would say, why don't you just lean towards intention rather than resolutions? Intention comes from the Greek word, intende. <laughs> I like the sound of it. It means to turn one's attention. And, and there's also another word, I think, intentionem, which means to stretch out. Okay? Now, you know that resolutions are always firm and hard, but on the other hand, intentions are very flexible, which is why I'm saying please lean towards intention this year. Direct your attention to, you know, those things you really want to work for you. Direct your attention. Don't be hard on yourself. Try, start, try to start to change your habits, the ones that need um, to be changed. And if you're really seeking for any transformation in any area of your life, I would like to offer you these tips, intentions versus resolutions, really. First thing you want to do is to examine your intentions. What is your big why? Why do you have that thing on your list? Is that thing you wrote on your list really yours? And by that, I mean, oh, do you want to lose weight? Do you want to do this? Is it really yours or what other people are doing? Uh, second thing you want to do is to drum down on the process rather than whatever it is you want to do. Take for instance, if you want to publish two books in a year, instead of saying, I want to publish two books in a year, why don't you say I want to write 500 words per day? You see, that is more of an intention. Thing you want to do is to analyze your habits. If you want to spend less money for for example, uh, take some time to observe how and when and why you spend that money and kind of like write it down. Uh, is it your morning habits that make you do that thing? For instance, when I used to spend a lot of money on shopping, I would pick up my phone and start to check emails of what new stuffs have been delivered, you know, that kind of thing, new arrivals. So if you're that kind of person, you want to stop that kind of habit, don't check your phone, don't do that, yeah. So number four thing you want to do is to be kind to yourself. Like, I can't say this enough. I had so many people coming to me to say, Coach, this is it. Uh, the, um, this was so hard for me. Don't, no, don't do that to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Make sure that the goals that you're writing down are realistic enough. Um, and number five is that I would say for you, to jump on this trend of just choosing a word get a word okay so for me this year my word is breathe okay so whatever i'm doing i'm going to make sure that that word kind of like aligns with whatever it is i'm doing so no matter how hard it is you can choose yours impact trust does fly make sure it's that word that encapsulates the behavior the feelings the attitude that you desire in this year in this year so i hope you really find these tips helpful they've helped me a lot i just thought it would be nice to share it with you guys so if you find it helpful put, put it in the comment section remember to subscribe like and share this video more than anything else have an amazing year i love you so much bye oh God.